Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mechanismaler. In our daily lives we use two different types of electric currents, alternating current and direct current. We also call these AC and DC accordingly. The AC current is more efficient for transmitting electricity for long distances, while DC is not. We use the AC current for powering industrial machines by using many different types of AC electric motors. On the other hand, DC current is predominantly used in the electronic devices we rely on in our daily lives, such as computers, smartphones and many other devices. DC current is also used in the stepper motors and some low-cost servo motors. Since our main electric source is AC and some of our devices require DC, we need a device to convert AC to DC. For example, we all know the small black box we connect our laptop to the electric supply to charge it. That black box is an actually an AC to DC converter and the subject of this animations. There are many different types of AC to DC converters. In this animation we are showing you the bare-boned AC to DC converter. This simple converter uses four diodes and one capacitor. Diodes act like check valves which allow the flow to pass in one direction, but not in the other. White the capacitor is used just like an accumulator to smooth out the flow irregularities. In this animation, the particles shown are not electrons, but representation of current direction. Notice that the current flow is shown in five different colors for different current types which we will explain shortly. Also, each current will be represented with different current icons, which are placed on the color they are representing. The rotating alternator shown here on the left generates AC, shown with this first color. The alternator shown here makes the electric current go in a positive direction for the first half of the rotation cycle and in the opposite direction in the other half. This is shown as the wave icon here. The red color indicates the first 180 degrees of the cycle, while the blue color indicates the second 180 degrees of the cycle. Note that for the AC current the blue waveform is under the timeline, which indicates that the current is flowing in the reverse direction. From this point forward, we will refer to the first half of the cycle as the red current and the second half the blue current. To make this clear, let me turn on these red and blue current paths in our animation. Diode 1 shown in here only passes in the red current and does not allow the blue current to pass. This is a DC current which one hump and without any current in the second half of the cycle. Notice that this is an intermittent DC current. This waveform is shown by this icon here. Diode 2 shown here only allow the blue current to pass, and does not allow the red current to pass. This is a DC current with one hump and without any current in the first half of the cycle. Notice that this is an intermittent DC current. This waveform is shown by this icon here. The current passing from diode 1 and 2 is combined at point C. This is a DC current with double humps. This current is continuous but makes two stops in each cycle. Also, current magnitude changes continuously. This waveform is shown by this icon here. The changing magnitude of the current is not good for DC devices. The capacitor in the circuit stores the charge when the magnitude of the current is high and discharges it when it is low. This evens out the fluctuation of the current and is shown here with this icon. Please notice the charging and discharging of the capacitor during the cycle. Finally, this smoothed out current is used by a power consuming device as shown as a resistor in here. On the way back to the alternator, the current splits in two different paths at point S. The red current goes to the alternator by passing from diode 3. Half a cycle later, the blue current goes to the alternator by passing from diode 4. This completes the current flow for one cycle. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.
If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.